Well, hello to all of my wonderful YouTube fans. How are you doing each day? Well, thank you so much for tuning in today's awesome vlog. If you're curious on what I am doing outside today, well, we got a package in the mail, and I want to do a unboxing of some of my parts I've been working on a project for a while now, but yes, I will show you once it's all completely done. But remember, this is just the unboxing of the parts, basically. But you know, it's such a beautiful kind of a little chilly kind of day outside, a little cloudy, whatnot. But you know what? It's all good. But you go and say, Chris. What project have you been working on? Well, huh, it's a hint. It's something to do with batteries and a battery backup system. But I will show you, like I said before, once it's all complete. But let's go ahead and do the unboxing. Alright, my YouTube fans out there. Are you curious on what I've been working on? What is under that green towel and plus what is in this shipping box should I say we're going to be doing an unboxing of course I already opened it because my camera stopped recording again but let's go and show you the pots I got from Amazon basically there are some battery mounts here and there's these guys. Hmm, pretty cool. But I'm gonna use those for something else. Alright. Are you curious on what I've been working on? But, gonna give you a bit of a guess. What did I buy? these pots for. Alright. Anybody know before I take the towel off? Alright. It's a new battery backup system with three 12 volt outputs, two USB, and a voltage needle. Now, I'm going to go finish this up and I will show you what it looks like when it's all done. So Chris, why did you make a second one when you already have your first one already done and completed? Well, I want to able to power more devices off of one battery. But remember, you don't want to drain your battery to almost to completely dead. But basically, what I'm going to show you is the two systems, one is the small system and one is the XL system. Basically has a much bigger battery and it also has a couple more functions versus the small one. Now of course, it's not a good design, but I think it looks very good in the sense of a different way. But I will also show you the wire diagram of both of them for you can kind of see what I mean. Let's go ahead and show you the two units. Basically here is my small one, here is my big one. Now this one here does work. Okay, it does have a voltage meter, a fuse, oh so it has two cigarette outlets, two switches. Now, on my second build, I have three 12 volt cigarette outlets, two USB ports, and one voltage meter on the lid itself. Now it's a pretty good design, but of course I'm going to have to get more of these parts. But let's go ahead and show you the wire diagram of both of these units. Why do you like making things? Honestly, to tell you the truth, I like customizing things. And it's so fun and easy to make. Now, of course, 
It might be a little bit frustrating for some of you if you don't quite understand how the 12 volt battery systems actual work. Now of course, did you put any safety in mind when you did your second build? Basically, yes I did. And let me show you what I mean. Alright, here's the wire diagram of both of my units. The big one and the small one. And you can see, the small one, not as nice and tidy. It just looks like a bunch of gravelly old mess and wire mess and everything else, basically. Now, if we go on to this one, looks a little bit nice and tidy. And, of course, yes, I did put a lot of safety in mind in this unit as well. And, basically, here we have my ground block. Basically, with a 15 amp fuse and also a 5 amp fuse for the small voltage meter over there. And of course I have my ground block as well, tying everything together, and basically it looks very good. Of course I have uh, black and red for negatives and positives, and of course we do have a switch to turn the system on and off, and plus a charging port when it's time to charge this unit. Of course my first one does not have a charging port. A 30 amp master fuse, the battery, and also some of the lugs. Basically cool. Yeah, I said Chris, you could have just bought one. Yeah, I know, but I just like building things. I think it's kind of awesome. But let me kind of explain more about the fuses and why you need fuses for your 12 volt system. Basically, it's called safety. It protects the wiring and also protects the circuit as well. Let me show you what I mean. On this unit, I did put a 30 amp fuse, max of 30 amps right here. Okay, now of course the fuse is not in there yet. It's actual over here. This is the 30 amp master fuse basically for the whole tile system now the own uh, fuses right here or for the own smaller side of things now down here you can see there is my charging port there is my 30 amp style switch and also 10 gauge wiring as well now when I was doing this okay these terminal connectors are too small to fit these lugs. Basically, I have to pick up some new stuff. Now, of course, here is my charging cables. Of course, I modded these. And again, those are too small as well. Son of a little. But basically, I have to pick up more of these. And that would fit on though perfectly fine. But it's almost done, but not 100% done yet. But there you go, there's some of the wire diagram and talking about fuses about my system. But alright guys and girls, if you are subscribing to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below, please like, please share. Peace out, we'll hopefully see you in the next vlog. Alright, catch you later. Stay safe.